it's important to go out of Brussels to come here to Romania or to other countries and to listen what is the reality, what is the real thing. The reality of other countries, who are the, the conditions uh, of IMF, who are on the financial consolidation and who only refer to financial consolidation like the conservatives are asking, I think this is something which we have learned. But I would like to remark that the, the importance of the social dialogue uh, for the vulnerable categories of workers, because if social dialogue is a very important instrument for all workers, for the vulnerable categories of workers are mi as migrant workers or as uh, young workers, is uh, more important that those are categories that uh, usually don't have access to the negotiation tables. And uh, that's a very important question for trade unions. It's, it's a very weak thing then to ask only the government to legislate. But on the other hand, if, and that, that has been said today also, if the government doesn't take his role to act, then what Brian, the late Brian Bukerson once na uh, named to negotiate in the shade of the law, that, that mechanism is also not there. I have learned, I've heard what I was probably be hoping for, be looking for. That's, as Connie said, a lot of diverse examples, all of them very telling, very, very interesting, um, which have shown that decent work is an issue for social dialogue and that social dialogue can contribute to decent work. Always when you finalize a project, you come to the next question, and that is how to implement this. And that is the million dollar question. The, the implementation is the hard bit because that involves a lot of people and the tools and means must be provided these people to, do, to take these next steps. What I, like I've learned from this project is that the trade unions can work with NGOs. And for me this was a very important lesson and I could, lesson, I, I could learn this from our colleagues from Italy because they have a very good cooperation. But I've learned from my own experience trying to, to develop this project together with my colleagues from the trade unions. And I think for me this is a very important message. Uh, what I would like to see is that, uh, but again, that depends on the internal DTC discussion, but what I would like to see is that inside the DTC this issue of precarious work is disgusting a very serious attack in, in a serious way. So beyond the, the superficial press statements and, uh, and speeches, but the really internal discussion on what do we want social Europe to look like. It's clear that there will be um, a lot of attention needed to the difficulties of the vulnerable workers, um, temporary workers, um, those with uh, low wages. In the global job strike, it's clearly indicated that um, the labor standards, minimum wages, social protection have uh, a productive element. They contribute to stabilization. And it has, said, it has been said, it was a consensus between them in three countries, tripartite, that lowering wages, especially the minimum wage, is not a solution for executive crisis. We, we now have to have a very close look at the government in the new process, I think and what it really means to involve social partners in it, what does it mean to involve stakeholders and social partners in the implementation of the free trade agreement, in setting social standards in Europe and beyond. That's something we are still developing, and uh, I don't have the answer here, unfortunately. We have to address, and that's still, I think, common to all of these areas, we have also to go beyond the field of employment and social policy. Some issues are related to migration policy, some are related to trade policy, etc. We have to make sure that social dialogue can also cope with those, or is taken as a serious actor in those. I think that uh, uh, social uh, dialogue is a perfect way, it's a good opportunity. Sometimes uh, as trade union movement uh, uh, we must uh, renew uh, our capacity to fight sometimes uh, to obtain uh, some good results. I think we have to come back to something to, to link analysis, you know, political proposals, also with some kind of, of movement and of action. And even if I do not speak Romanian, and it's called appel à l'action, action, I understand. That means something must happen, and this can only be in the combination with the institutional, us towards the institution, us together with the, the unions, but also really reaching out to the people. And because I think when, if something is under fire, 
It is not only the social dialogue today, it is not only the social Europe, it is the idea of European integration.